I'm gonna start this video talking about my underpainting process. I've been getting a lot of questions about it again, and I'm just gonna show you this canvas I got delivered same day through Michaels. Why? Because I'm impatient. I didn't have what I wanted in stock, so I spent the extra money and got it delivered. And it was what, uh, I forget what size it is, but it's one of those thick edge canvases, and I love a good deep edge, and I didn't have a deep. Gonna take that. You know what? I sound spoiled too, Luna. And so anyway, I do uh, add a, another layer or two of gesso, even though it's pre-primed. Hello? Gesso is good for protecting your, your work surface. It like enhances it. It gives it texture or makes it smoother depending on how you handle the brush and if you like fine it down with uh, sandpaper. That's the word I was looking for, sandpaper. Uh, and um, I mean, it makes the, the surface le less absorbent so your paint won't be absorbed into the canvas. So it, like, it's just, Please gesso, please prime and prep your surface as, as needed. My process involves a lot of sketch work, a lot of doodling, and then a lot of thinking about the concept and colors and whatnot. And I do a lot of that on Procreate. Uh, that app really just helps me visualize how I want the end product to be. And once I've got the line work for that down and fine, I project that with my, was it an Ac Acaso projector, I believe it's called. It's a WT50 model. Um, and I have that in my little beacon link in my profile. So I sketch, 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 conceptualize, sketch, 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 and then final sketch. Finally, we're outside. You spray your fixative outside always. And that's so the sketch does not smear when we start doing the wiping of the oil paint everywhere. You don't want it to smear and always take it outside. Please take it outside. The oil paint I use uh, is usually a color I'm okay with seeing throughout the whole painting because it will peek, peek through. But the, it's oil paint, I try to use a translucent color so it's easier to see through. Uh, so even when you see me use a darker one, it's still translucent. I can still see it even though it may not pick up that way on camera. And so it's oil paint and a little bit of liquid because I want this to dry overnight. When I want to do the next layer for it, I want this layer to be dry. Now, not everyone does it that way, and this is just this is just my process. To wipe the paint away, uh, to expose the highlights, the lighter part of the painting, I take a clean cloth and Q-tips. Now, if it's being stubborn, I will use a little bit of paint thinner. Thank you. Present started already. Oh. Yeah. Bye. Take this as art by April. It's not for you. Are you kidding me? 
I bought the six drawer Alex unit from Ikea for art prints. I'm just building it here. Luna is um, helping e easier. She's helping, but it wasn't too bad. I got the instructions and I had a YouTube video of the instructions and it was, it had, it took about an hour and a half and it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too complicated and I really enjoy it. And now my printer's on top and I, I like when things have a place. I'm not gonna ask why everything's a mess. We're just going to fix it. We're just gonna fix these things. This, can this, can over here. Masks, hello, masks. This is the sponge for the adhesive tape. chipboard to be in the sleeves. The print is 17 by 21. The sleeves are 18 by 24. And the chipboard is 18 by 24, but they're not the same size. This one's, the chipboard's bigger on both ends. No, it's 24 by it looks to be 25? Something's lying here. Either way, I'm cutting down the chipboard so it fits into the sleeves properly. I also bought the corner protectors. They came in as I'm editing this, and so now, I, now I'm like gluing those onto the chipboard. This art print that I'm doing all this for is uh, going to be G clay. Is that a G clay? Is I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Good God, but they're beautiful. So the corner protectors would go here, and then. The new do. And when it's cut down, it goes into the sleeve very nicely. All nice and protected. Do I have the corner protectors yet? No. But can I cut these chipboards down today and be prepared for the launch? Yes. Mmm, Molly. Now I gotta do it how many more times? At least 10. At least 10. This is the stuff. There's so much less painting involved. When you have an art business, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Corn rolls the boxer braids is dry to the touch, so I'm adding the edges in. I have not signed her yet, but uh, once I picked the edges, I was going to paint them purple, then I realized I didn't want to have the color match, so I just painted them black. And then uh, I the art prints for those came in, and I decided to go with a liquid gold uh, to embellish them. They are stunning. Here I'm putting together the certificates of authenticity for corn rolls to boxer braids. I bought the template for this off of Etsy and um, I just fill it out, you know, with my information. And then, you know, I have the, these are limited editions, so it's going to be 50 of these. I just put them out on my printer. Then I got the, the prints came in. They're stunning. They're canvas textured. Oh, I love it. I, I never had a canvas print before and I'm, <laughs> I'm spoiled. But um, I go in with the liquid gold leaf. Oh, it's stunning. It's, when I tell you, sometimes I'm just, I, I love art supplies. And it's just like getting a chance to use this is what dreams are made of. 